wanted to be the heel right out of the gates. It wasn't bad enough. Then comes this dead grandmother lie. Did you get the letter? John, you went from really happy to really sad. It was either going to be my buddy or my grandmother coming, and uh, my grandmother's not here for a reason. And that's, that is a producer's dream. Yes, especially then, because they're never, I mean, you know, I apologize. I ended up creating Kardashians. Sorry about that. My bad. <laughs> but, but otherwise, I feel like I, I brought the world something good. Bad guys on reality TV. <laughs> so I grew up uh, in Danville, Virginia, which is about 45 minutes from the Greensboro Coliseum. Mm -hmm. So starting at age four, my dad would take me to the Coliseum every month, and he was like, root for the bad guys, the good guys are pussies. I got to go to the Roanoke Civic Center one night, and then the next night I got to go to the Dorton Arena in, in Raleigh. So we go the first night, I was like, this is awesome, and we're going to go watch wrestling again tomorrow, this is going to be the greatest thing ever, and we go, and it was the exact same show, match for match, what? and I was just like... I think something's uh, something's amiss here. <laughs> in high school, I wanted to become a wrestler, so I wrote a letter to Ivan Koloff. I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm five foot seven, uh, 120 pounds. I want to be a wrestler, and he, he goes, it doesn't matter how big you are, it doesn't matter how strong you are. If you got the heart and twenty five hundred dollars, you can be a wrestler. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I, <laughs> I uh, I'm a commentator for Magic City Wrestling Federation in, in Miami, and then a Revolution Wrestling. Wrestling Authority in High Point, North Carolina. So I do shows for them like every every month or every six weeks there. And so that I get my wrestling fix there. So, um, but I'm good. I mean, like I, I, I love my schedule. The, the I love I, your schedule.